hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl grace D. i hope you guys are doing amazing i'm doing great here in the farm as you can see in moranga county kenya the pride of africa the home of safaris and of course the jewel of east africa if you're watching me and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for we are already 4,000 subscribers and i'm hoping a hundred of you that are watching me and haven't yet subscribed you're going to subscribe to this channel so that we can hit the 4,000 mark for the new years and i'll be glad you know to reach that mark if you're watching me if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate the love and support that you guys have been showing me i don't take any of it for granted your likes the comments and the support guys it really keeps me going so i want to wish each one of you watching this video a happy new year of year full of blessings her desires be fulfilled i hope that everything that you planning your goals everything that you want this year be granted to you so on today's episode as you see we are in the farm i know most of you like you can see this most of you maybe some of you that are watching me you don't know how bananas are grown like this is a banana i would call it because it's not a tree actually it's a uh, it's like a fruit yeah because a banana is a fruit so as you can see this one is small this is how bananas are grown here in the village for those who don't know and when it gets uh big these are the banana fruits if you can see them can you see it the bananas yeah so these are the banana fruits those are the ones that you get so yeah there's a video that you'll see after this when i'll be cooking some bananas so we have so many of them here in my village so this is where my mom was born and raised yeah so this is where my grandparents uh live i am really enjoying the new years here and of course our holidays here in the village so on today's episode i want to show you guys how bodies are preserved you know like here in the village after you you die like you know we usually like take the bodies to the morgue you know for them to be put in the freezer so i want to show you how people used to do it here in the village before the freezer and everything else this is something that i was told actually by my grandpa and my uncle just like two days ago and i was like i want to show you my viewers how people used to do it here in africa and how we have our natural fridge without without needing the uh electricity or the freezer and all that so what you, they usually used to do uh if you have this in your village or this ever used to happen in your village please tell me on the comment section so what usually used to happen is uh like long time ago people never used to take like if you die at home like unless you die in the hospital but if you die at home like you know somebody can just sleep and never wake up so they never used to take you to the morgue they used to like keep you at home for a whole one week and uh, you'll be actually quite okay that is what surprised me like how like so many things that are now brought with the new uh development of you know the today's world the 21st century like where we have the freezers we have the computers like how people used to do things in the old days so they would keep you for a whole week without you getting without the body getting uh without the body rotting or smelling bad and actually i was also told like long time ago if you die in the house like the that house will never be stayed again like that is in the old days so on this a short period i want to show you how they used to preserve the bodies and i was quite surprised so come with me and let's see So the reason that's why I'm coming here is that I can get this off. So these are is part of you see it's not a tree, like the whole of this a plant is like this. So this is what's making the uh the uh, tree the plant very strong for it to stand on its own like it's doing. So for those who don't know, bananas don't grow on trees like any other fruits uh so yeah so what they basically used to do is they used to get these i don't know how it's called in english how is it called in kikuyu 
yeah but it's i'm asking my brother and he doesn't know <laughs> yes yeah, so i don't know how it's also like we call them no the mashoya are these ones the banana leaves but we are we okay yeah okay they would put them on the ground and then they would like you know the sun that we used to build houses yeah i'm sure you all know the sun that is the one you mix with cement so what they usually do is they would get these parts of the banana as you can see there is water coming out of this if you squeeze it you see my hands are wet so it's actually wet so they would get a bunch of these and then they would place them on the ground or maybe if you died in the house as i told you they never used to like if you die in the house that house will be abandoned and then they would keep the body there for you know the time that they need for them to prepare for the burial and everything all the preparations that are needed until that it, the day that you're going to be buried and at those old days i'll like look for a picture and show you my uncle was telling me they used to have these on the top of the house they used to have like i don't know it used to be like a, a long uh, sharp tree whereby if you die they would cut it like into half to show that that house somebody died in that house and no one would live there anymore so what they basically used to do they would get these ones put them on the ground and then they would get sand the sand that we used to build the house and then they would place the sand on the on these leaves and then what they would basically do they would put the body on that sand and actually i i'm not sure if they used to add a little bit of water as you know if sand the water is not going anywhere just like you go to get the sand out in the lake or wherever you get your sand from mostly from the lake they uh or the beaches so they used to like yeah mostly the lake that's where they mostly get the sand from so they the sand is always wet you know like it's not like uh where you put um soil and uh, after a few hours it dries up if that water is not going anywhere the sand will remain wet so they would put these ones and then they would put the sand on top and then they would place the body over there so the thing is i was also told but i need to like i'll i'll google it and see so what they used to do as you see when you go to the house like when you take a body to the morgue uh there is this uh uh medicine i don't know if to call it um yeah it's cut i'm not sure if they cut the body and put the medicine if you're watching this one and you know this tell us on the comment section like there's a medicine that's put in your body uh of course when you die because you know all your uh stomach or the other meats that you have in your body they would rot so so what they usually do they put that medicine in your body for you to uh make the you know like when you like for the uh meat inside to die like uh like it's like burning the meat like the way we grill meat like you, a meat that is grilled would i think stay longer than a meat that is not grilled or like just fresh meat they usually do they put a medicine to make every like all other organ uh, body parts that are inside you are dry and they not uh, have a bad smell so my mom also told me she think uh, they used to like uh, uh, put uh, paraffin you know like we mostly use paraffin here in uh, Africa for you to like light up the I don't know how it's called it's called kaguatera i'll show you guys or the lamp like how it like you know places that don't have electricity they use paraffin to put in their lamp for you know lighting or you know just to see at night so they used to give the bodies paraffins uh, paraffin so that they don't smell so if you're watching this and maybe for some reason you still do this in your village tell me on the comment section because there are still some parts of africa that but i think in every part now we have morgues and it's been made quite easy for us to preserve our bodies like you know the dead bodies here in africa of our loved ones friends you know yeah so 
this is what they usually basically used to do and i say i must tell you guys to show you how like it used to be done here in africa if you ever used to do this in your village tell me in the comment section if it's your first time that you've heard about this tell me what you think about it but i also feel like it's a good way of preserving the body if you don't have because the mugs are quite expensive and you know like planning a barrio is not something easy it requires also a lot of money and it's not like something that someone has stayed all their life planning for so they also used to like when they put the body uh, it used to be like you know in the mug they usually wash the bodies i don't know if it's every single day i'm not sure but they also used to have people the strong people who would always go like because if you put like in the freezer you just put the body in but when you use this one you just place in the body so what they usually used to do is they would uh, put the body on and if it's at night the following morning they had to come and overturn the body so if you they put the body on the back for the night so the back part would be uh frozen or whatever they used to call it for the night time and they would come and turn it on the other side for the day time so that all part of the body is like gets that to keep it cool and to keep it from rotting that is how they usually used to do and there would people who would come and you know wash clean the bodies and um, yeah that's how it usually used to be done here in the village and i said why not show you guys and uh, this is gonna be the end of this video it was nothing much just to update you guys on how they used to do it don't forget to leave a like comment share this video also if you watched this video and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing we get to 4,000 subscribers and of course up to 10,000 subscribers that is our goal for this year 2024 don't forget to leave a like comment share and uh, watch the next episode that i'm gonna show you how to live affordable like just to make affordable dinner here in an african village when you have everything that you need and you just have to buy a few stuff from the store or from the grocery shop and see you on the next episode